Hello, I'm Cathy Gritzler, the Commercial Director for Greater Manchester CSU, and I recently gave a talk giving an overview of the commissioning landscape to a group of influential businessmen in Birmingham. So what I started talking about was the size of the commissioning support budget. So currently the CCGs have a budget of £65 billion for 2013 and at the same time £2 billion has been transferred from the NHS into the local authority for the public health budget and a further £13 billion via NHS England to commission primary care with a further £12 billion for specialist services. And all of this money is uh, in the system and commissioning support units are playing a part in providing value for money of services to these different organisations. As you all know, commissioning is a complicated integrated process and at GMCSU we've mapped out the um, components and CCGs currently have 300 discrete functions they have to fulfil. Of those, 50 are what we call vital processes. And because of the current state of CCGs, there is no uniformity across the commissioning landscape. So if we multiply all those up, there are potentially 10,000 different solutions for commissioning each of those different components. Now, mature industries that we all know and use and love and trust don't have this problem. They usually have one best way of doing something, but we don't have that. But there is an example in Greater Manchester CSU of Meds Management where as a group, they have come to get all 12 CCGs have come together and produced the Greater Manchester Medicines Management Formulary, and that is an example of doing best practice one way. But for many years, the pace of change has outstripped the has outstripped the supply side, and unless CSUs add real value to the CCGs. We, there will continue to be a salami approach to commissioning and because of the Nicholson challenge with the 20 billion that's got to be released for savings we have to and need a new approach. Some recent research was carried out by an organisation called PCC in April 2013 of CCGs across the country and there were three key areas that came across. The first was of major concern for the CCGs is around finance and the issue that they are most concerned with is not only the value for money that a CSU could uh, give them but the fact that they are going to go from £25 per head down to £23 per head and they are also quite concerned about legacy issues from the PCTs that are still being sorted out. The second area of concern, and perhaps not surprising for us, is the major service challenges around reconfiguration, um, doing, uh, asking for services to be provided differently in the area. And there is a need to build public support but the interesting factor around that is the CCGs feel that they have most of this covered or perhaps it could be they're failing to make the connection between public opinion and the press and what the what CSU might be able to do around this is um, help, help them produce media packs and guide them through the communications that is going to be necessary. There's also strong concern about variation in primary care and CCGs acknowledge their role in this about the quality of primary care and whilst they are um, looking to work in partnership with the area team, there is acknowledgement that they also have a significant role. And then finally, the third area of concern for CCGs is the affordability of CSUs and 
the perceived freedom of choice that they believe they have under the Health and Social Care Act. And then many of them have a dilemma about make share buy and what this may mean for them. And quite a few across the CCGs across the country are unclear about um, what they need to buy now going into the future what they want to do themselves and what they need to be sharing with other CCGs because let's not all let's not forget all of them are at a different stage in their organizational development all of us in the commissioning support units are undergoing restructuring reshaping our services and I think that's only right as we start to um, engage more with our customers about what they may need for the future so the vision is to create a competitive marketplace for commissioning support services that drive innovation and innovation is the key word here. One of my heroes that some of you may know is Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple and what he said about uh, innovation and getting groups to think about services was for something this complicated it's really hard to design products by focus groups. A lot of times people don't know what they want until you show it to them and I think that's exactly the territory that CSUs are in. So now let me give you an overview of the commissioning support units. There are currently 18 in um, England and as I said they have a currently currently they have a turnover of 745 million they're predominantly around a geographical area and that is because they came from the PCT clusters and geography was a key feature but they are going out of the NHS and we're working towards what is called autonomy and we all need to have been autonomized by 2016. When all the CSUs go out of the NHS, we were likely to be at the top of the Sunday Times Fast Track League. And I think this will be a bit of a shock to some people in industry and the commercial world. But I also think if the commissioning support landscape and commissioning support units don't make it, I think the NHS will be in big trouble. And um, it's behest to all of us to make this work. It's a serious part of the drive for change in the NHS. And I think um, the change will only get faster for us over the next couple of years. Yeah. Um, as I said, we are on the road to autonomy and this is a process that has been set out by the business development unit of NHS England and it is a timetable for us all the CSUs to go to market by 2016 and that could be done by standalone CSUs by partnerships by alliances by becoming a social enterprise there's a variety of mechanisms to get to market but it's never going to be a straight process. It's going to involve a lot of change management as well as cultural change. A lot of the star of our staff were in the PCTs and we're now asking them to become providers of services. And this will require a culture change and a new mindset. I think CCGs as well will also need to think about what are the services they want going forward and start to think of themselves as customers as well. So to give you hot off the press, the lead provider framework as it's called will be by January 2014 the uh, framework will be in two lots. The first lot will be patient focused clinically led commissioning support which is around medicines management um, independent uh, reviews of patient care of services they may may need and the second lot is the what is called the six domains and that's relating to business support and HR healthcare pre pre procurement and provider management service redesign communication and patient and public engagement business intelligence, data management and information governance, and finally, major service transformation. 
So as I alluded to, the commissioning support services market in the future will feel very differently. I believe there will be more vertical and specialisation among commissioning support units working with our commercial sector partners. And I think also we'll see robust alliances between the CSUs. I think we'll be forming partnerships between the CSUs and the private and the public sector partners to look at where we're complementary and also where there are services that we no longer, as NHS CSU currently, we don't wish to um, provide services. I think we'll be much more innovative around models of delivery and we will use technology to drive change and um, adopt um, the technologies, sorry, the adaptation of technologies. And I think we'll be more innovative around pricing strategies, I will say for shared risks and benefits. Uh, so we might very well be doing risk and reward contracts. I think we'll also see potential smaller niche suppliers very focused one product that will be able to work across CSUs and I think we will see the economies of scale that I first talked about so if you remember I talked about the 10,000 potential ways of doing things I think that will um, come very quickly down to a more manageable scale and I think we'll also see increased activity from the large consulting houses and I think that will be a good thing because it will help drive the change. So I think there's lots of opportunities for us to be working through and seizing. I think there'll be a heavier focus on designing products and services that are aligned to the commissioning intentions of the CCGs and that will be about, for us, the added value as well as the culture change, as I, as I said, that we need to be getting into. I think one really interesting concept is the fact that in the past, lots of suppliers used to know who to go to inside organisations. Because of this change in the health service, lots of people have moved um, to new posts, they've moved to new organisations and lots of people have left the NHS. So I think one of the issues for suppliers will be how to get a handle on who to talk to in the health service to start putting together some of these partnership working. I think there's an opportunity around high level expertise from um, commercial sector partners as well as other CSUs and a, and a desire amongst all the CSUs to expand and excel in, in areas um, that CCGs we know are going to really want our help in. And finally, CSUs are large NHS organisations currently and I have to say I don't think we're very agile at the moment. I would ask and suggest that maybe you're not as agile either and what could we be doing to solve some of these problems. So finally I want to leave you with a quote from George Bernard Shaw. If you have an apple and I have an apple and we exchange these apples then you and I will still have one apple. But if you have an idea and I have an idea and we exchange these ideas then each of us will have two ideas. And that is what commissioning support should be about. Thank you very much.